For many years, there's been considerable debate about whether the digital revolution has paid off in higher productivity. Studies in the 1980s found no connection between investment in information technologies and productivity at the level of firms, industries, or the general economy, a situation referred to at the time as the productivity paradox. In the field of economics, the significance of productivity is well established as an essential part of economic theory. Back in the 18th century, Adam Smith discussed the importance of productivity for the economic prosperity of a society in his classic work, The Wealth of Nations. In that foundational treatise of modern political economy, Smith maintained that productivity, or the capacity of a given society to create goods and services, was the main source of wealth and economic growth, and not, as it was the common sense at the time, the quantity of money or precious metals circulating in a given economy. Since then, the pursuit of greater productivity and efficiency has become a guiding principle of our modern market economies. Economists today understand that one of the main drivers of productivity growth is technological innovation and the development of new production methods, procedures, and technology. Not surprisingly then, when computers started to permeate the workplace and general everyday life, Economists, investors, and policymakers came to expect a meteoric increase in productivity that would simultaneously usher in a new wave of economic growth comparable to those that had followed the introduction of similar revolutionary technologies like steam power or electricity. By the late 1980s, however, some economists came to question whether the computer revolution had really created any gains at all. Such expected gains could not be detected in the federal government's standard measures of productivity, because there weren't any, the economist concluded. Hence, in 1987, American economist Robert Solo wrote in a book review that one could see the computer age everywhere but in the productivity statistics. In the research I've conducted over the summer months of 2022, I've been surveying the economic literature of the time to examine how the so-called productivity paradox of IT technologies came to be explained in the last decades of the past century. With the tools of data science and exploratory data analysis that I've been able to learn through the CCT Fellowship Program, I've been able to become acquainted with this vast literature and to carefully analyze the different kinds of empirical evidence that economists at the time looked at while searching for evidence, or lack thereof, of a correlation between IT investment and productivity growth. Using the programming language R and various publicly available historical data sets from governments and financial institutions, I've been able to draw interesting insights and comparisons based on the different macroeconomic indicators while a consensus was never reached as to what could be causing this mismatch between IT investment and productivity growth, most of the authors of the studies I've researched agreed that the observed phenomena might have emerged due to a number of overlapping factors. The ones that are more often cited by the literature of the time are inaccurate productivity measurement, time lags related to the diffusion of technology, mismanagement issues, and ineffective use that accompanies uh, the introduction of new technologies. There's no denying that the rise of computation technologies has radically changed many aspects of our everyday life, as well as the labor processes and business practices of numerous industries. Some businesses now serve their customers with automated devices rather than human beings. And of course, many new products and some entirely new industries, for example, internet access, have been created. However, the question remains, is the new world that we have today as a result of the astronomical growth of computational technologies a vastly more productive world in the sense of producing more cross-domestic product for, for hour of labor?